notebooks are a space for students to process their thinking. So I do have students write and draw in notebooks, but it's really more for them. And that still has a lot of value. It doesn't have to mean that I grade everything from the notebook. So the notebook is not a component of their grade. Um, they can utilize notebooks on revise and resubmissions though. So I often talk with students about, you know, how did we practice that in our notebooks and can you use that to help you make a revision here? So we use traditional paper notebooks in our classroom and we pretty closely follow Open Syed's suggestions for how to set up the notebook. Um, with sixth graders, we start the year being pretty structured about how to set that up. Uh, we do use digital versions of some assignments, particularly exit tickets or class data tables, to aid us in getting feedback to the students more quickly. Um, but in terms of their work, their thinking, their drawing, that's mostly always done in their paper notebook. And we don't grade their notebooks as a whole. We might look into their notebooks to look at a particular summary of writing or to look at a particular model. Um, but as a whole, we're really trying hard um, with our sixth graders to help them appreciate their notebooks as tools and race, like their own resource in their process of sense making. So the students are always encouraged to use their notebooks as resources on summative or transfer task assessments. Um, so in our classroom, uh, we are one-to-one -one, um, and we use uh, Google Classroom for all of our materials. So the students don't actually have uh, traditional notebooks. Um, everything is pushed through uh, classroom. So in classroom, in a particular unit, um, there would be three sections. Uh, there would be what's considered the investigation section. Um, so those would be all the handouts, places where students would be recording data. Um, uh, or, you know, um, manipulating a simulation um, and recording observations. Um, and then we would have our resources. So this might be places where we keep our progress tracker, um, particular uh, readings, um, and then we would have our graded assignments. So anything that goes in the graded assignment is the only thing that would actually make its way into our gradebook. Um, our investigation section is not graded. Um, I will scan through them and I'll give kids feedback on that and check in with them. Um, but it's not something that actually goes into the grade book. Um, and so for the most part, uh, if a student was doing a, a model or a, a writing assignment, um, it would be posted in classroom. There would be a rubric attached. They would know how many points it was worth um, and with a due date. Um, and then that would ultimately translate into uh, a grade that would go into the grade book. Um,